on this. thrifting. I'm excited. I am in a full home mode. Some of that is because I'm so excited we're doing a new renovation in my house and you guys I feel like are going to be just as excited as I am because the big goal of the home renovation is a master closet. A master closet. I can't even believe it. I'm gonna hopefully put together my you know dream closet within our home which is a big but it's actually gonna be a walk-in closet and I cannot believe it but that is actually starting in a month and so that has me just like focusing on my house a lot lately and I don't know I've just been I think I've been looking at a ton of inspiration and all of it and so it's just making me want to zhuzh and play in the rest of my house which is funny because I'm about to like tear it apart not the whole house just the the master, which I'm not touching right now because I'm just gonna leave it. But I've gotten some new shelves and things that I wanna style up. And then I think with the transition into spring, I'm just feeling like a refreshed sense of inspiration and wanting to add and play in my house. So we are gonna go thrift that. And I think we're gonna go to just a lot of stores. I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna just hit a bunch and you're just gonna come along with me and see what I find. Then next week will be really fun because I'm going to do an updated home tour right before we do the home renovation just because I feel like I have done some new things and especially today I'll get some new things and so I want to show you before we switch everything and then of course after the home renovation I'll share all of that with you all and I can't wait to share my closet and I'm very excited because then I can film in my closet and I feel like all of that will be more of the backdrop of a lot of my videos, which I can't wait for. Okay, I'm just rambling. We gotta go, we gotta go thrift, so let's do this. I'm at Habitat for Humanity Restore. This is where I come for a lot of furniture. It's mostly furniture, which I am looking for two chairs, but I know that's gonna be really hard to find. So today I'm gonna look at their art, lighting, things like that, and see if I can find anything. Here is the restore, it's really big. There's really just great options everywhere you look. As you can see, everything, everywhere. I love it. So in the art section, hello. And I just spotted these. There's two of them. They're 75 a piece, but they're 75% off. So that's much more interesting. I definitely like them. And now I just spotted this piece here, which I really like how graphic it is. Sometimes I want the balance of graphic with all of the other pieces in my house. I'm not sure. So there's actually a second one, so you could like stack them on top of each other or just do one. I just flipped this one up. I, it's supposed to go the other way. I kind of like the idea of maybe it being up and down. I'm not sure which way I like them, but I'm leaning towards this one. I like the graphic on this better, and I think I'm I'm pushing those aside and going with this. I like this. Now I just found this one. I really like this one. Ah, and I probably don't want to get both. I got this piece. I'm excited about it. I felt like that was the most me of all the art, and it was 75% off, so it was only like $13, which is incredible. It's so big. I love the colors. I love that it's really graphic. I think I have a spot for it, <laughs> but I feel like when you find good art, you should just get it and then find a spot for it. Okay, we're at our next stop. This is Save More Thrift Store. I actually, I don't know if I've been to this location. <laughs> I thought I was going to another store and then showed up at a place I don't recognize. So anyways, we'll see if there's any gems here and I probably will have to scan clothes a little bit too. One of the things 
I wanted to find was some tablecloth options for my patio and also for my dining room table, especially this spring and we can sit outside and eat. I just found this one. I love it. It has fish all over it. It's so perfect. It feels like a Greek vacation and I see this definitely on my patio table, but I think this could also be cool in my dining room. suggestion when you're looking for home stuff is to go back to your inspiration to your Pinterest boards of home inspiration and just look at little details you know zoom in and see like what are the type of items that are in these homes that are interesting to me and then it kind of helps you zone in your eye of course just going to it just things you like but I think that's a good sometimes there's so many things that you can kind of just feel like, well, I don't know what's good. So doing that to really zone in on the things that you want. In particular, I found this little, um, I think it's a candle holder, but I think it's so cute. I love the print here. And I like the idea of sticking some candlesticks in it, like almost like storage, but then having it on display. those two things not a lot of great stuff that I wanted here so I'm gonna go to the next store another thrift store this is the Anaheim thrift store this is the one I was trying to come to so now let's go inside let's see what I find one thing that I've been looking for a lot is just really great coffee table books that I can add to my shelves I found this one I love the graphics inside fashion design. I love the book to kind of have like a cool graphic cover. Ooh, just fun inside too. All of the little elements. I wonder when this was published. This is published in 1977. Ooh, I love that. So much fun. I mentioned in the last store that I like the idea of putting candles inside that container. And I just like that idea. I found some probably vintage colorful candles, which is perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. There's even like twisty ones and colorful ones. So I feel like this would be really fun. Almost think of them as plants or flowers to put in vases. Another tip when looking for objects in thrift stores is to look underneath and see what the stamping is. I I like to not necessarily pick up, you know, that or you know, like a pure one imports piece, even though unless I like love it. I love to find more unique pieces. So if somebody's inscribed or you can tell it's been handmade or it's from a long time ago sometimes it'll be stamped here's an example this amazing pot and somebody has carved their name into the bottom which means it was handmade i'm also looking for things that just feel humorous in a way i think that makes it interesting i found this frog which normally i think someone would put this out in their patio but i like the idea of this being as part of a sculpture piece uh, on a shelf or something. Ooh, maybe even holding the candles right there. That could be really fun. And then I love anything shell related. Not necessarily doing coastal pieces, but I like the shells thrown around. I love that this one has the, um, oh, what's that called? Maddie would know. I can't think of the name of it, but that kind of shininess. And I also found this pot, which I really love. And again, it's been stamped. You can tell it's not. It also says USA. I do love to find pieces that were made in the USA. And it has someone's initials on it, which is really great. And then I'm always looking for something bigger because I need pieces to kind of display and take up space. There's another shell. I like how this one's big. I feel like this could be set up somewhere. I just found this. It's like an instrument. I can't think of what these are called, but I love the detail on the back. And I need things to sit up on shelves that you'll see next week. These pops of color will show. I like to mix kind of old, almost like I've collected from around the world with things that are really graphic and colorful. I think that like juxtaposition is really fun. Also found these candlesticks that have 
different animals on them. And again, they are been hand carved stamped on the bottom. I need some new pillows for our back room couch. I just found this. This is from Target. But I really like the black and white graphic on it. Looks like it's never been used either, which is always really nice. It's 30 though, I gotta think about that. through everything, found what I want. I actually have a lot and I'm gonna check out. Of course I just said that and then I found this. This looks like a bird and then there's like little birds here. It's beautiful. That will be perfect on my shelves. So these are the things I'm taking home. The two shells, these really incredible candlesticks or candle holders and then I'm doing candlesticks. I'm doing the fashion book. I'm excited about this musical instrument. This amazing pot. My funny little frog. This pot here and then this last minute find. I feel like these were a lot of really great finds here. That was such a good thrift store. I had so much fun in there. I feel like I found so many home treasures and better than I've found in a while all at once. I think I'm good for today. I've gone to three stores and I'm gonna bring this all home. And then real quick, I'll just kind of recap everything that I got. You guys can kind of see the whole collection, which I always think is really fun. There's like something about the curation of thrift finds. I love when you all share that or I see someone share, you know, like their cart of items that they brought home or whatever. There's something about it. And then I also think there's usually like a connection to all of them. You see that person's style really shine through, even if they're different. I think just the collection together really shows, you know, who that person is. So I think it's so much fun. Anyways, I'm gonna bring this home and I'll meet you there. All right, I'm back home and I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of everything that I brought home. And then next week you can tune into part two because I'll do an updated home tour and also just share where all of these items ended up. So we've got the tablecloth and I found the little candle holder situation. I'm very excited about my little frog. This amazing bowl. Got the candlesticks. We've got shells. I love this book. I feel like I just want to go through and just look at all of this. I think it's so much fun. Look at this with the 1970s outfits and all of the sketches. Ugh. Just details on, you know, fabrics and you know how to make pleats box pleat oh this is good knife pleat box pleat crystal pleat and then engineered pleat i think that's so interesting to know all the different styles of pleats and details like this slightly tapered draped and pegged side wrap sarong type and then a harem skirt maxi skirt oh my goodness this is so much fun i feel like i can just learn so much from this book so i'm excited to actually even just go through this and then moving on i got this vase situation this shell here these amazing candlesticks this gorgeous piece of pottery and then i can't remember the name of these but some kind of drum and i even like they have marked in here you know the different keys that you're playing. So I really like that. And I feel like it was such a fun day of finds. So that's it for today's video. I had so much fun. I haven't thrifted for home decor in a while. And I do think there's like a long game with home decor and just home decorating. You're just constantly looking. And I think I look for clothes so much that I sometimes don't go into the home section. And so I, I need a day like this where I just focus on home decor because then I can really just zone in on what I'm looking for. And you really, like you saw one store, I found two little items, you know, and the other store I found just that piece of art. And then the last one, I found a lot of things, but you kind of have to get ready to go to multiple stores, I feel like, when you're looking for home decor. 
but it's worth it and your home ends up being collected and fun and having lots of personality and um, it just feels like a treasure hunt on display in your home. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and tune in next week for part two where I will do an updated home tour. And finally, always play Jessup. Bye! Oh.